Hi, this is RBR Productions again, and I'm going to show you, give you guys another tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change teams using a GUI. So let's do this. Okay, just to show you guys an example of how what we're going to learn today. I have a full screen this because it. it's like a rectangle kind of thing in edit mode, but if you were to run this in a low game, um, it would just work just fine. Because we need more room because this down here is covering where team 2 is if I don't full screen it. So, so say if I want to go to team 2. I change. See? So one. Bam. So let's get started. I'm going to teach you guys how to do this. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to open this again. Settings. Stop. I'm going to just open up a new one. Let's get started. Let's go to the starter GUI object and we want to find screen UI. We're just going to rename this to a team changer. Cool. Oh my goodness. Uh, cool. Alright, uh, next we're going to add a frame. The team changes, now you can see it. Uh, now, after that, we're going to add what's going to be inside the frame. Um, we're going to add some text buttons. We want two of these. And now we're going to rename the first text, uh, text button. Uh, we're just going to call it Team 1. You can change what the name is if you really want to. Yeah. Team 1. Team 2. Cool. So then we have to add one script for each of these teams. So let's just get them ready. So. Cool, so now we got our steps, you basically have everything. But see how it's just in the corner right there? You kinda need to move it so everything fits and looks nice. So let's start with the frame. And we're gonna change some of the properties. And you can change however you want to. I'm just gonna guys give you a good example and what I had in the uh, the other one. So the size would be 200. And the position of the frame would be 500, 500, 2, and over here. Cool. And then we want the background color just to be 0. Uh, just 0, 0, 0. So let's just go like this. Huh. It's blue now. I mean, you can change whatever you want, but I'm just going to make it black. Then we want to make the transparency 0 0.4, so then it looks kind of good, so we can see what's happening to And next, we want to change the border color. And again, you can do whatever you want, whatever you please. It's 255. And I'm gonna make these zero. Cool. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so that looks good. We're gonna go over here, change the properties of the text button, and what we're gonna do is change the size of it. So that's a little too big, so we're going to just go to 100, 
150, yeah, that's good. And then 50 for the position where the button's gonna be. 50. Cool. And just gonna make the style of it just look default. So let's see, cool. Put a default. And we need it, we should change the text color because it just blends in with the black, so just get a white. And you can change the font size or whatever, I'm not gonna do that. And we're gonna change the name just to Team One. Or you can name it whatever the heck you want. Okay, so then we're gonna do this kind of like this similar things to this, only just like one little other change that doesn't matter. So change this to a hundred. The position is gonna be the one that's different. So just put a 50 right here and then put a 100 over here. Cool. So now we have that. Gonna change this. We're gonna make the design of it default. So it looks good. And continue the text color to a white. And to cool. Cool. So now we can actually start programming them. And so let's just start with team one. Okay. So first off, we have to start with our local. We put local player equals script dot parents dot parents. So, dot parents, dot parents, dot parents. Cool. So that declares it. Next, we're gonna go with go on to what's happening. So our function on click because we're gonna be clicking. So now we're gonna say what happens when you click it. So we're going to say it's going to change the team color of your team basically to the new team to the brick color dot new and we have bright blue and bright red down there so I'm going to put bright blue team one then we want them, we want the player to basically die so we can switch teams. Because that wouldn't be fair. Say, like, you have a bunch of people and they want to cheat and they want to just change teams and they just start killing you for the other team. Just change, the te change their team right in the middle of where your team is. That wouldn't be good. So we want them to die and just go back to where they need to spawn. Basically. Humanoid. A humanoid. Health equals zero. And that's good. Let's end it. And then we're just going to add one more piece of code script dot parents dot mouse button one down connect on connect. Yeah, so we just do a little lowercase. And I believe that should be it. Just checking it over. Yeah, that should be good. Cool. And just to clarify this right here, it's meaning uh, when you left click. So mouse button one, left clicking, and when it's down, it'll start the on click function. And it'll make you change to the bright blue color. 
and it'll kill you before you change. So, and for right over here for the next script, it's going to be basically the same thing. So all you have to do is copy it, so we can make our lives easier. And you're just going to paste it, and all you have to do is change this to Mac, because that's what else we have on there. And that, ooh, goodness, thing I forgot to add. Um, I think we have to add my spawn points, so let's go to assets, blue spawn, cool. and we can add a red one. So we got both white, blue, and white, red. Cool. So now that we have our spawn points, then it should be good. Let's test this. And again, with the position of uh, this right here, see how I can't click it. So what I want to do is just full screen it. But if we were actually like running this on like a real server, it's fit edit mode. It would work just fine. So I click team one, and bam. And click team two. See exactly the same. Well, I hope you appreciated this tutorial. Um, comment if you have any questions about this tutorial. Um, and yeah, this is RBR Productions. Hope you liked it. Subscribe and everything. Thank you.